Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks, Tracy here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So, good morning. And well, I had a bit of a, a rubbish day today, to be honest with you. Everything I did kind of went wrong. So annoying. You know, one of those days, I'm sure we all have them. But um, started off... Okay, well, it started off with a massive rainstorm and I thought, oh, here we go again. Rain's back. And then I've got this headache kind of around here that was a bit kind of like a pressure headache and I couldn't get rid of that. Um, and I didn't touch my blanket today. I thought I'm not touching it because it's everything that's going wrong. So um, Jane, who I made uh, chemo beanies for and other people made chemo beanies for, for some reason has not got my parcel that I sent her and there were a good few in there. So, um, and I was, I should have really done the tutorial for them before I posted them off, but I wanted to see if they fitted. So, um, then they didn't get there. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to do one and make some more and send them off. And it, I don't know, it just seems humongous. It's like I followed, I wrote my pattern down and I followed the exact same, uh, I don't know, it just seems huge. It might just be because I was wearing... And this is going to sound silly, but I was wearing my glasses, these things, and they make things look gigantic. So whether it actually is, I, I need to sort of get it out and measure it. And I think I changed a little bit of it and uh, it was not much, but um, maybe it was enough. So I might have to frog a couple of rows, take it back and unchange it and see if that makes a difference. But honestly... Then I made a quiche and I thought, you know, I'm going to make a crustless quiche. Now, I used to make quiches all the time and they used to rise and they were fluffy and they were lovely and cheesy. I cannot make a quiche to save my life anymore. They taste good, but they're either stiff and <laughs> rubbery or flat and really nice. The one today was flat and really nice. Tasted good just didn't rise and I and I've done everything I can to kind of figure it out and I, I mean I, I never had a disaster with any quiche I ever made they were all really good but it seems just lately not so much Gary's home as you can hear whereas he normally watches tipping point and all that while I do these videos um it's the best of and he's not really into it so at the moment he's just cooking our veggies for dinner because i did the i did slow cook beef and stuff so he's doing the rest anyway um you know you're old when you see an old person and realize you went to school with them <laughs> that's always you know, the thing I find is that I will go, say, to the supermarket and I'll bump into someone that I clearly knew from school. And I just look at them and think, oh, my God, don't they look old? And, <laughs> and I have to say, don't look as old as them, do I? You know, that's the sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I get that. I really get that one. But, yeah, I can't, that happens to me all the time. And another t I'll kind of look at them. My God, they look old. And I just kind of feel like, well, I don't look that old. You know what I mean? <laughs> Makes me feel better. So I don't. I really don't want to get rid of this one because it was a lovely double Grogu. But today's one, we've got a little bit of a Grogu. And we've got this one. Bit of a fight going on. Now, if I'd only just watched them, I might even remember where that was and what, what the context was, but... At this stage of the game, I have no idea. But I'm putting little Grogi back. At least I've got the right day again. Which is a bonus, isn't it? So yeah, not every... You know, it doesn't matter how long you've been crocheting. I mean, I crocheted from the age of six. My mum taught me when I was six years old and knitted as well. And I still make bad days. <laughs> I still have bad days. And it all goes a bit wrong, you know. So, yeah, don't be disheartened if you have that happen to you because we all have it and uh, I'm no exception to it. But I think it was just, you know, destiny that everything was going to be a bit 
a bit rubbish. So I, I did have um, some orders collected today. And the, you know how I keep saying about how coincidences really kind of spin me? Well, I had four orders collected today and three of them were Scotland. <laughs> so three of them. And I'm thinking, isn't that bizarre? You know, one was Devon. <laughs> but the three were in Scotland. And, I, you know, sometimes it's like I have a batch of orders and there were two men who ordered the same crochet hook set, you know, and it's the, both men. It's, I don't know. It just kind of takes me as odd. You know, I like these little coincidences in life and these things that are, you know, a bit strange. Like another time I was doing the postage and I thought, hang on, I've made a mistake because I've just done Watson. And when I looked, I had two Watsons. And it's like, oh, you know, the same name as well, the same first name. I thought, well, hang on, what's going on? And when I looked, it was two people with the same name. I like things like that. I don't know why, but it, it just, you know, life's little foibles that it throws at you. But the annoying thing is, and I, and I kept checking, I kept checking to see if there were any more orders before I, because I can always go pack it up and print out a label and then the postman can take it at the same time if i've printed the label he can take it i mean obviously when he comes to collect it i get him to bring labels because they're sticky and they're better but um if i have to i can print one out and just tape it so i kept checking both facebook and my my shop to see if there'd been any more orders and there hadn't the minute he left with my parcels i got an order for an eye coordinator <laughs> why why couldn't it have been just a little bit sooner i could have packaged it up print the label and it could have gone but no now i have i have that one to to do but obviously by the time i post it there'll be something else i suppose but yeah it's just <clears throat> one of those things in life isn't it anyway sun came out again today after this monsoon that we had this morning and it was very loud woke me up um, but this afternoon it was glorious sunshine. It looks lovely outside. Um, and Fluffy has now decided that she is going to go out again. She took herself off out this morning, which was good. And uh, I had a busy day though myself. But mostly things like cooking beef, changing the beds, you know, putting the washing on and putting it up, up to dry and everything else. So yeah, demeaning drudgery, really. Nothing fun. I could have gone out. I was toying with the idea of meeting up with Gary, but um, for one thing, the car is really suffering with the road at the moment. We had a letter come through yesterday from someone who lives around the corner about all clubbing together and getting the road done and then perhaps putting £10 a month in a, an account so that if it gets like it again, they can always just draw the money and get the roads done. So um, it's a thing to think about. I think definitely something to think about. So, um, good news on the um, doodah front on the on the genies. Um, I got a nice email from the company, and uh, they're going to send me a few samples as well. So that's cool because they do some yarn. And uh, you know, as I said, you know, I'd like to order, but I don't know what it's going to what it feels like and what it's like and. I need to kind of know that first. So they said that they would put some samples together. So that's good. And then I thought I had an email from him and um, I read it and I thought it's a weird way of talking. It's something like, um, you know, we we have arranged the matters in question. And I thought, I don't I'm really taught like that. And it wasn't until I got to the end, I thought, oh my God, it's a scam. I have been bombarded lately with scams and... Um, I do give them a choice reply, um, usually. Sometimes they bounce back because they're not, you know, you've got to phone them. Phone this customer service number. It's like this long, you know. I didn't, and there's another one that come through that said, um, my account will be suspended unless I call them. And I look at it and I think, I've never ordered from you. But because I had, they can catch you out. And it's really, really, you have to be on your guard because I could have thought it was this order. I had just placed an order. And um, so I could have thought that, you know, 
it was that company. But when I read down, and it became obvious to me then, it was just like, oh, another one. And I used to do scam alerts over there on Rocksteady. I'd be doing them every day if I'd still carried on doing the scam alerts. Seriously, there's so many. They really try, don't they, to catch you and to extort money from you. It's disgusting, really. But um, a sign of the times, isn't it? Nobody wants to really work for the... <laughs> well, not not nobody. I mean, I'm talking to the, you know, the normal people out there. But, you know, these, these people, you know, these, these villains who tried to scam us couldn't possibly get a job, could they, and earn money? No, they would rather try and get hundreds of thousands of pounds out of innocent people. But, you know, um, the one good thing, I think, that is to do with the um, cost of living crisis is that people are more wary about where they're putting their money. So, you know, they might not catch quite so many people out because, you know, there was comic relief on TV this morning. They were talking about that and um, about the fact that, you know, not many people might not have the money now to to uh, donate and that's fine but um i didn't realize that idris El Ed idris elba i was gonna say edris ilba idris i love idris by the way i do i love idris and um i love luther and he did luther where lenny henry was played his brother um, who looked just like him and dressed like him, and then he had cousins and his 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 mum and and all of that, and it all because Idris brought a chicken home, and it was like you know what have you brought? Um, you brought the corpse in the house, you know. It was just a silly sketch, but I didn't realise it existed. So when they were talking about the one with Idris, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to look at that. So I had to look on YouTube for that, and it was funny. But yeah, I do miss Idris and I do miss Luther. I used to love that program. And another one I miss is obviously 24. I absolutely loved um, Jack Bauer. And so I figured, you know what, while I'm crocheting that blanket, I'm going to watch it. So I must have watched 24 about, oh, I've lost count, um, probably about 50 times in my life. I know it word for word. I don't even have to look at it. And... Um, so it's keeping me company of an evening while I make that blanket while Gary's in bed. But <laughs> when Gary's up, we're watching Vikings still. Got to a part of the Vikings I'm not really happy with, though. Um, I'm hoping it'll pick up. And um, not that it's a bad programme or, you know, that, but it's got boring or anything like that. But I'm just hoping that the main character's part picks up and doesn't go downhill any more than it is. So I'm not going to say anymore because you have, if you haven't watched it and you want to, I don't want to spoil it. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Um, I did an open with me. That popped up today and I did get a magazine today. So I have filmed that and that will pop up. I'm not sure if it'll be Monday or when, but I have filmed it. That's all I've done so far is filmed it and uploaded it. Um, haven't looked on it, put any like, thumbnail in or anything that's still to do. And, wow, believe it or not, as I said I would get, um, 16.5. <laughs> I thought it would happen around Sunday, but it didn't. It happened today. So maybe tomorrow I'll do a 16.5k giveaway because um, recently I haven't had chance to do the 0.5s. <laughs> but I have been doing those. So um, I will see how the day goes. If I get to do it, then I'll do that tomorrow. If not. It would just be Sunday's normal giveaway, I guess. But um, I'm looking forward to my dinner. It smells absolutely amazing. We bought these joints of beef from this ga uh, garage. <laughs> we didn't buy from a garage. What's what I'm talking about? That worries me, you know. I do that a lot. Yeah, I'll say completely the wrong word. And I think, is that Alzheimer's? Is it? Is it? I think it's just a cluttered mind, to be honest with you. But no, we bought it from a butcher's, obviously. Not a garage. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyway, I bought this, um, there's a butcher's over the mainland that um, opened where we used to have a pizza hut. And it was a purposely built round building. It looked quite nice as a pizza hut, but it's now a butcher's. And they do quite 
strange kind of offers in there sometimes and seasonal meats on offer and things like that so um sometimes that because you spend quite a bit they will say would you like these four joints of beef for like 20 quid and they'll be small and you yeah okay I'll do that so I popped one in a slow cooker because the last couple that I've cooked I've not been really pleased with I thought I've been a bit tough and I thought well I don't know what cut they are so that one can just go in the slow cooker and that's what I've done and it smells amazing I have to say it really does smell good so we've got that with some baby corn and broccoli, like stem broccoli. Now I do something different with my baby corn now because um, corn is different to baby corn. It has a totally different taste. And you think, how can it really? Because they are the same thing. You know, baby corn grows up to be big corn. Should taste the same. So one day I had this little be in my bonnet and I thought I'm going to try and make this taste like sweet corn you know not squeak corn sweet corn I'm having trouble with my mouth today um and my brain you know going to the garage to buy my meat and all that sort of thing anyway um and I have now made my baby corn taste just like sweet corn and so now Gary can't get enough of it he wants bowlfuls of it so um he said maybe I can take a bowl of that to work <laughs> No, it's you know, it's not really that good a thing to do on a low carb diet. So um, I've probably got to do that later. Zhuzh up the, the baby corn so that it tastes like proper, proper corn rather than baby corn. But um, um, as long as it doesn't go wrong, like everything else that I've attempted to do today, it's been disaster Friday for me. Well, obviously it's Saturday for you because I'm recording this yesterday. But for you, it was yesterday. For me, it's today. I said I wouldn't do this again, didn't I? I don't know. I think it's become a feature. So, <clears throat> I don't know what to do next, really. I don't know whether um, to try and get this this um, this beanie or not. Uh, put down on a, on a tutorial that was the whole idea make the beanie do the tutorial today and it didn't work but um it might just be me overthinking it i did use different yarn and the yarn i used was the uh, king cole baby glitz at the time i thought glitz maybe not a good idea for a, uh, a chemo head you know but it's not scratchy it's really baby soft um so i tried it and i thought even if i'm not happy um, with the way that feels afterwards that can be the one I show and then I'll make a softer one but it is very very soft I just the jury's stood out on it though I just don't know whether I like it or whether it's gone right um, I think when I made the first ones I did a couple parts of it I did the crochet rock stitch and I invented that stitch and do you know what I did it wrong <laughs> I, I adapted a different crochet rocks um alternate stitch so when i look when i this time i did it i did it right which makes it does flare out that stitch so that might be why my beanie now is feeling bigger i don't know so yeah i've got two crochet rock stitches now and a rocky road stitch to my name <laughs> anyway hope she does get them you know Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this. I know it's not a very long one and I know I'm not um, my usual self. I've been a bit in a, in a cloud today. I have. I've been under a cloud. Um, literally this morning under a gigantic rain cloud. But um, all day um, things have not been working out for me. Having one of those days that, you know, you'd rather not have. But things can only get better, as they say. So perhaps tomorrow... Um, everything will go right i'm gonna try once gary's gone to bed later on i'm gonna try and do a little bit of my blanket but i really don't wanna i don't think i'll mess it up because you know it's quite straightforward so uh, yeah i'll probably do that this evening um and get on with something else tomorrow so thank you for watching and uh take care everyone i'll see you on the next one and watch out this weekend obviously for the winners and the giveaway or giveaways who knows bye for now see you soon